Hello, welcome to debunking theological ideas that have no proof. Okay, um, the points I want to cover is uh, when, when the Bible in Genesis 1 talks about God said, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. This is woman's curse that is discussed in chapter 3. And then it says, uh, Behold, God said, I have given you every green herb and every seed-bearing plant. Uh, this is man's curse and is discussed in Genesis 3.18. Now the reason that I make this point is because woman uh, eyes were open to fornication. And it is clear because they, her curse was to given to increase and in sorrow she would bring forth children and, and, her, and sorrow and her conception and it would greatly multiply and those Hebrew words are word for word so when you read her curse you're reading word for word uh, those Hebrew words it's not that it's anything fancy been thrown in there and so um, so understand that these are just two points that I have to clarify because um, it's discussed here and you know that in chapter 2 it discusses man being formed out of dust which uh, atheists say is stardust which has which has substance to it of of creating life not the dust that we see here that we know will not create life that is just dust from from mud and dirt and so um uh, but that's discussed in woman's created and how she's created from a rib from man and then man names every animal because there were probably multiple of men's because it states it I've done another YouTube about this there uh, it says that he made the male and female and then he called their name Adam in chapter 5 so he called all of them Adam uh, because that meant human and he was calling them man and so that's all covered in chapter 2 there um, when you read that so the creation and the, and the naming of all the animals and also in chapter 3 it discusses that this particular man another man had named his wife woman and all the women then could be referred to as woman but this man uh, in the same day named his wife Eve because she's the mother of all living and her her curse is found in in 3 verse 16 the uh, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow in conception thy sorrow shall bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband he shall rule over thee and then to Adam he says because thou hast eating of the tree and this is why it's it's all herbs are for Adam to eat uh, and this is why it says this in chapter 1 uh, because he said of the tree that that thou I have commanded thee not to eat cursed is the ground for thy sake in sorrow thou shalt eat of it the tree okay see how I'm holding my hand like a tree this tree is the example the theologians want to start reading it cursed is the ground for thy sake in sorrow thou shalt eat of it but not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil which was a mind-altering herb tree and the Bible even speaks of herbs here so understand that you have to start with the tree that he is cursed from eating and and then that uh, that is included so all herbs are included uh, medical herbs and as well as food and then it even mentions bread um, uh, in the curse of man so so the food part is mentioned at the end of the curse the the tree the the mind-altering tree is mentioned at the first and all herbs are mentioned so